Now we got a little bit of twist in the line we can have in this thing. I'm thinking about, I'm going to bend this a little bit, I think. I need to go up at an angle like this. So you got a couple different ways you can bend these things. Put wrenches on there and tweak them a little bit. Or, just hit them with a hammer. Two different ways of doing things. So if you take your 7 16 wrench, the screwdriver, you can put it on there and do that. Make sure that's good. And also loosen it, move this up a little bit. If I can loosen all the pressure off of it, but. That actually helped quite a bit just doing that, surprisingly. I took a lot of load off of it doing that. Looks good this direction, looks good that way. That really helped a lot doing that. It makes it hard to get your bleeder screw though, which is a problem because we haven't really tightened it yet. position Turn it over just a little bit so. okay it's good and tight. That's tight. Put the rubber back on it. Okay, so we got a little adjustments we're doing there. Airlines in the way. Okay, so now we got a little bit of a twist we can deal with. When I torqued it down, that made a little bit of twist in the line. Twist is not good. Put air in a system, but to be careful. So I got to rotate this line. So I need to put pliers to do that. Okay, so if you grab over here on the ferrule, uh, the pinching sleeve, loosen it just enough you can rotate the sleeve. And tighten it back up. If you watch the line, it's actually twisting on us as we're doing this. You can fine tune how much twist you want in it. So it's a little bit over twisted. When I tighten this up here, it moves it in. Okay. Rotate it and see what you think of it. Looks good. You know, the front end is going to go up and down. You want this to compress. So you don't want to be just straight up and down. You want it to be compressed. So that's why you get the curve in here to start the bend. As, you, as this goes up and down, it will bend like this, like this. It will go outward like that. You don't want to be bending on this. Avoid it. So right now i got enough Slack and everything. You can go all directions. This is our tightest position right here. Do this a couple times, it's going to find out where it wants to sit. Okay, go back to your tight spot. Make sure we got enough room to go up and down. All looks good. So I get the bleeder screw tight, I got that really tight, and I tighten that tight, and I put the right twist in the line. So now the line is sitting 
nicely that way as you go straight. See how it stays nice, good straight curve. As you go this way here, we're good. I'd like to tie this thing off so it would be nice over here, but we don't have enough length. Can we go this other direction with it? You can see how the line pulls way over. See if you had that tied over here, it would make it tighter on this other side. We can probably get away with it, but it's better to be loose than tight. So as you tighten this up this way, see it moves things around a little bit. So it doesn't look like it's really affecting us too much doing that. So, yeah, probably could do that without hurting anything, I think. Remember, we're at full, we're at the longest down right now, which is our worst case scenario. So, so we probably could put one more zip tie in there. And get away with it without hurting anything. So we'll put it on there. If we don't like it, we'll cut it off. It's nice about zip ties. You don't have to have them on there if you don't want them. fine. What I should have done is put it up above this other zip tie, but I'm all right with it. If I put it up there, I wouldn't have to tighten it up. It wouldn't fall down because it's going to want to fall down. Okay, I think that'll work. So we got our tension over here. It's all right. It's not too tight. It's not pulling on it. And like I said, it's all the way down right now. It's not going to get any worse than what it is now. This is full bottom. Or full extent, I mean, not bottom. Bottom will get closer. So you go the other direction. It hits over here a little bit, not too bad. So we're okay. Clamp is fine. We could probably adjust the clamp just a little bit further toward me. But when you go like that, it gets worse, so we don't want to do any more. So the center cable just kind of bends back and forth. No big deal. Most of your riding is going to be in the front position here, and it's right in the middle, so it's got room to flex around, not be a problem. This one here is obviously going to be able to bend and bow out of the way, so it shouldn't be a problem. All right, so everything's in there pretty good. So, see, simple mounting your brake line is very important. If you do it wrong, it will tend to want things to break. It'll easily make them start leaking down here. Worst case scenario, it pulls these things off and splits them right here, blows the line off. So, it helps to do things so you don't have binding on it. All right, I think we got what we need on that. Looks good. All right, so now we got to see if the brake works. There's one, two, three, so, four, five, six, seven, it's just the same spot. Okay. 
Pretty easy. Looks good. All right, so now both brakes come on together. Now if this locks up before the back one does, then we need to put a portion valve in here and cut the brake pressure to the front. We want the rear to lock up before the front does. You can ride a sliding wheel. If you slide the front wheel, you're going to go down the ground instantly. It drops like a rock very quickly. A lot of people don't know how to recover, so they crash. Brake rule's got a slight warp to it, but that's pretty much normal. Nothing's perfect on a Harley. Overall, not too bad. All right, so we got brakes. Got something done today, at least. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to find me a bolt for my uh, back here. And I'll work on this tomorrow. Get the exhaust pipe mounted. <sighs> One step closer. All right, then we have to get the seat back onto the seat. I got to make all that seat mounting stuff. So looks like that's about the last. The exhaust should be basically almost done. So the controls are mounted. They look a lot better. Look how dull it is on this side. It's not blinding you in the sun. I like that a lot better. I wish the other side was more dark too, but it is what it is. When you got a big brake lever that's chrome, the mouse is chrome, it's hard to make a doll. So you're gonna have the scrub pad and knock some flash off this maybe, but I don't really want to do that. What the hell? What the hell is going on there? That's not good. Loosen this up. Somehow that got jammed up underneath there somehow. down before I put it down but obviously I didn't do a very good job now when you tighten these screws down when you start to see the rubber compress spooch out a little bit you're done don't go anymore just tightening up will make it leak more not less so you got rubber is like a big spring so it actually keeps the screws kind of tight because you always got tension on the screw as long as the rubber is still good all right, we got that fixed. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but shoddy workmanship. That's all I can say. Okay, I'm about to do some more work on that. I got to adjust the free play on that, which I haven't done yet. I got to adjust the pedal here some more. I can't do any of that other stuff until I get the seat mounted, so that's why I'm not doing it right now. Same on this side. I can't really do the shifter until you know where your butt's going to be, where your foot's going to be, and the relationship between the two. I gotta figure that out. Now I gotta make some kind of a guard to keep your heel off of this because right now you're it's gonna be rubbing on this pretty hard. So I think it's coming off this bolt off of here. You make a little bracket it goes from here to here. You gotta keep your foot up off of this. So you take a piece of metal. Probably a little because a lot easier to work with. And just have it sticking out like that. Put a little bend into it. A little, do a little dog leg. <clears throat> so you come in a little bit, probably about to here. And then you put a big spacer with a bolt here. You have a big spacer. And when you tighten that all up, that'll be right there. It'll blend in real nice where your heel is, so your heel won't go in too deep. It's going to be really hard to make a real deep offset like that. It would be weak. So having a big spacer sticking out is going to make it a lot stronger. So i got to fab that up. So that has to be made. And that's on the list of stuff to do. But the seat is the next thing to play with. The other thing she wanted to do was the... I need that for the drill motor. 
We we're taking the license plate off of here and putting it up over here with a different tail light bracket. So that's got to be figured out. That's these things here. Bought these things out so they're no more available. The only company has them listed like that has curved ones like this. Really nice, nice and heavy. Got a few left, not many. Heavily discounted. Okay, so this matches the fender curve. See, so it doesn't look too bad on there. So we're going to mount this thing right over here, close to the edge as I can, but not right on the edge. So it'll sit like right there, like that. Which won't look too bad. So if we got enough money left over, we're going to do that. If we run out of money, we won't do it, but we'll see. It's a lot better than these stupid side plates, these shin bangers. I don't like shin bangers. I got to do something about this ignition switch. I don't like it being on top of the chain. So we got to deal with that a little bit too. A few little knick-knack things. All right. I think that's about it for now. There's the handlebars from the back view. I like those bars. I duplicated a little Harley handlebar and they look pretty good. And they work. Seem to fit pretty good too. We'll know more once the seat's mounted obviously, but right now they're pretty comfortable. All right, that's it for the night. Getting out early, it's only nine. All right. And I can work on my airlines. At some point, getting more and more junk coming in for me. I think I got another box came in today. We'll open up and find out. Okay, that's it for the night on this one.